Hi everybody, it's Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for June 30th, 2016. So, <clears throat> you know, some clients asked me, what's going on? Why can't I feel the relief? What, why can't I feel this Mars going direct already? Well, just wait a few days. It's just stagnating as we speak. It just stopped moving retrograde, its retrograde movement yesterday. And it's not even w picking up speed yet. So give it a few days, you'll feel the breathe coming your way. You'll feel the speed, the speeding up in a sense. So today we have the moon in Taurus, sextiling Neptune in the morning if you are in Europe, Queen Cox in Saturn. What is it all about? First of all, that says that it is a good time for us to go into uh, artistic endeavors, spiritual endeavors, going out to nature, enjoying sensual pleasures. It's not the best time for work and career environments. Nevertheless, it is a time to dare. It is a time to, to, to try new things, things that we are afraid of usually. It's not a time to throw caution out the window. We still have to be calculated and look at the long-term effects of what we do. But yes, you can feel it as if it's tingling in your fingers during the last few days to really step out of your comfort zone and dare to do things that you know you want to do, that you know you want to try, but you've always been afraid to. So face that fear and do it anyway. And as I said, don't throw caution out the window. Later on to, at the day, it's around noontime in, the, in Europe and around early morning in the States, there's going to be a grand trine in the sky between the Moon and Jupiter in the North Node and Pluto. And this is a wonderful grand trine. It's a grand trine that brings optimism, intensity, power. It brings, um, it brings a, a, in a sense, a peak at where we want to go and how we want to do things. It can really be like a beacon from our destiny that shows us the path, that, gets us, uh, that gives us a glimpse of where we need to go and how we need to do things from deep inside, if you will. But, and there's a sextile to Venus at the same time, which is a much better time to draw in money and funds and, or, or just uh, uh, be involved in relationships, new or existing ones. But many times, clients ask me, when there's a lot of positive aspects in the sky, hello, Georgia. Ha oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Please. Yeah. So Georgia joins us. So clients ask me, when there's a lot of positive aspects in the sky, how come we still feel tension? How come th this day is still burning us? So I, I always explain that, you know, aspects in the sky is like music. And when we have a lot of aspects, it doesn't matter if they're positive or negative. It's like the whole orchestra is playing. So there's a lot of noise, whether it's good noise or bad noise, it's noise. It's music, it's noise, and there's a lot of going on. So we don't have a lot of time to rest. So it's not a shanty day that we could put our legs up in a sense. It's a day that we should do things. But if we do things, it can work out very positively for us. At the evening time in the United States, night time in Europe, we do have to be careful in our relationships and in ourselves because the moon opposes Mars and that is a time that we can go into conflicts, we can go into arguments, we can just get pissed over uh, minute things, we have a very short fuse and there's a lot of carnality and a lot of uh, lower chakras activities there so just be aware of that. So thank you for listening, this is all for today. I hope you have a beautiful day. On behalf of Georgia and me, Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.